don't go chasing after the beanpole man on your own, Ryota. A good man keeps us cool, even in times like this. D don't speak! You're still bleeding! Don't worry. Who the hell do you think I am? I'll be fine. I know my limits better than anyone else. I won't die to a little scalpel. Getting whacked with a cleaver would have been bad, but... There are plenty of bandages here. Sakuya, wait here. I'll go get Mr. Leone. Wait, Ryota! I have things to tell you. Can you wait long enough to hear my confession? Like the doctor said, there's no time to waste, so let me tell you everything I can. This might be our last chance. It's too late, Sakazaki! If you were involved, why didn't you tell us before? <laughs> we had a deal. Of course, he broke it without a second thought. The doctor and I did not kill her. That is the truth. But, but then why did he... She died in this room after school yesterday. That is also the truth. Then there was someone else? Yes. Right, as always, Sakuya. The third person's killed Scarlet? Who was it? I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. I think you'll figure it out. I have to apologize to you. The doctor and I were the ones who cut her up. <gasps> so you stuffed her into those boxes? It was the time. The doctor needed to be sure of when she'd been found. Decided mourning would give for, for the most humans to gather. I suppose he already thought putting her in the print boxes was funny, too. The most humans, why would... Looks like I've stayed on the fence to the very end. I didn't have to resolve to go either way. If only things had been a little different. <laughs> I thought you said that you'd be fine! Are you worried for me? I'm honored. Could you go outside for a little bit, Ryota? We'll go to the maintenance office afterwards. Just for a little. I want to talk to Sakuya alone. Okay! Alright, I'm getting kind of choked up. You have a new father now, Yuya. He has a beautiful mansion and you'll be moving there tomorrow. But your new father says he doesn't want your brother. He says he can only feed you if you leave the egg behind. Mother is sad. He's her son too. I will go. I will throw my brother away, mother. Give me the egg. The new father killed my father. I know he did. He killed him so he could take mother from him. I waited until she laid a new egg, until she laid an egg with the new father's child inside. I had hidden him away in the mansion. And I switched them, so he will raise my brother as his own son? The new father hates me, but he will love my brother. He will give him nice food and nice clothes and a nice bed. My brother will not know. No one will know but me. I hate the new father. I took the new egg and I smashed it. Holy shit! I've always thought that maybe I should have told you. The doctor did not lie. You're the same as me, Sakuya. We were never half-brothers. You are my real brother. I'm impossible. I am the heir to the LaBelle family. Father told me so. Everyone told me so. I was raised for no other purpose. I never told anyone that I'd switch the eggs. <laughs> if Father found out now, he'd throw you away. I did it for you. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just did it to spite that man. I killed the child he had with Mother. That was the cross I had to bear. It was never your problem. I was happy just to see you living in luxury. Y you under what authority? <laughs> None, you're right. I only ever listen to myself. But the doctor noticed. He must have realized. I guess I was doing what he said all along since I took your lineage. The fact that I killed the LaBelle, the other father's child, will never leave me. I've never been able to forget. If you're blamed for that child's death, you have to press on. You can't let it stop you. I was worried about whether I should tell you or not, and now it's too late. So, fool, to deny me my lineage now! I'm sorry, Sakuya, I should have told you long ago. I was never as sure as myself as you. If, if I am not of the LaBelle line, what am I? I knew you'd ask that. Straightforward as always. Leave this place, Sakuya, and think about it long and hard. You have a lot more to worry about than just who your family is, after all. No, wait, Sakazaki! Stay with me! There's so, so much for you to tell me! <laughs> it's been a long time since we talked this much. I talked to you every day when you were still an egg. Pull yourself together, you You can't leave like this! You said a little scalpel like that couldn't kill you! I should apologize about that, too. Remember the headmaster? That was Nerf Toxin. You mean that scalpel had? 
Go on, Sakuya. Leave your liar brother and go. The doctor must have a way out of here. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Later, buddy. Yuya? Yuya! Fifth class end. Holy shit. Sixth class. Okay. It's 6 p.m. I need to save. Okay, I'm back. I had to take a walk, and I had to use the bathroom, and then I had to rest my poor ears because they were hurting so bad that I was literally, like, having to, like, take breaks and lift them off my ears so that I could, like, not just go, ow! Anyway, uh, 6 p.m. I haven't heard much of a- s I haven't had much of a sense of time passing since the dome appeared, but it's already evening! The atmosphere in the maintenance office is tense. The doctor said that he'd be waiting deep beneath the surface. Does this building have a basement? Certainly not one that appears on the official plans, but maybe under the medical center, but that one's blocked off with concrete. Does not seem- I knocked something over. Go me. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Real professional. Anyway. Does not seem to me that the medical center is an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building into the basement there. Is there anywhere you might have missed something? Missed something? You've forgotten something. Somewhere I forgot to look. Oh. That's right! The encyclopedia from the library in the medical center! And the chronology and the medical records. I'd like to talk to Nagaki again. You've thought of something? Yeah, I need to go check. Sakuya! He hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. Don't blame him! It's pretty bad! Pretty bad. By the way, uh, I'm your real brother, brother and dad. Like, seriously. Can't blame him. I know how he feels. Better to leave him alone. I know. I'm worried about it, too. Is that Scarlet's spirit? Probably is. Hmm. You're fading again. Where are you? Nagaki! There you are! What is it? I found out a lot about the school. And about you. I see. I suppose you know who I am, then. Sort of, but... Also, ignore! Ignore from behind the curtain. Just realize that was showing. Ignore the mess back there. Just, it's bad. Sort of, but there are things I need to ask you. That's why I'm here. Fire five years ago in the dome today. How are they related? Nikeki must know something about the secrets the school holds. You really aren't here anymore, are you? That might be so, or it might not. I saw in the school records, it says you died five years ago in, the, in an accident in the medical center. I had become aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. You stopped your... In other words, at the very least, I took my life through my own will. I am almost sure of that. So you didn't die in the accident. That's what I fucking thought! <laughs> He hangs his head in silence. Looks like he can't remember everything from before he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the, under the medical center, and I need to get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. The encyclopedia? You used to go to the medical center, right? Did you switch one of the encyclopedias from there for, with this one here? Why would... That's what I want to know! I guess I should just tell him. Look, you know how the encyclopedias here are out of order? There are two copies of Volume 9 and no Volume 6. The medical center has... Oh, the medical center has the same encyclopedias? Yeah, there are two copies of six there, no nine. How disorderly. Yeah. Anyway, one of the copies of volume six has a library sticker on it. Someone must have taken it from here. Switch the encyclopedias. Mr. Kawara, try reading this copy of volume nine. Looking's worth a thousand spoken words, I guess. Huh? 
This isn't right. Looks just like another book when it's closed, but... It's a box? It's full of files. Some sort of documents? They're all from five years ago. These must have been... What does it say? That one. Let's see. Operation Hatiful. This is talking about using carrier individuals as biological weapons. To fight humans? It has the same title as the file in the headmaster's office. But I never expected anything like this. Meaning, the school has been being used for biological weapons development for at least five years. 2180. New strains of Sumatra influenza isolated. 2183. New strain has been isolated from Fujishiro Nageki. It is lethal to humans and has been named the Karen virus. It has entered research at St. Pigeonation's Medical Center. Karen virus? Humans I met would always get very sick. Are you remembering something? Yes, I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone, tell someone important what was happening the center. What was it? My family? It must have been my family. That's right. I burned. I had to disappear. Why didn't I notice? Did I your help to see? He paces nervously in circles, rambling on to himself. If you realized something, it would help me to know what it is. I've remembered. Remembered what happened here five years ago. Oh god. Oh god. This isn't gonna be good. I can't remember my parents' faces. I lived in an orphanage with other birds my age since before I could remember. I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently everybody there was a war orphan. Still, I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I did not care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as natural as could be. One day, the endless routine was broken, and some humans broke into the orphanage. They had guns and kept shouting, Free humanity, free humanity. I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. I was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. I don't know how much time had gone by since they came. When I looked around the silent room, they were all collapsed on the floor. Birds had come to save us. They had come and killed the evil humans. That is what I thought, but... You have been granted a great power. You are one of the chosen few. I left the orphanage with one of my re one remaining sibling, and we lived in an apartment. But I was weak, and I couldn't go to school or get a job. I was nothing but a burden. Then I received the invitation. We wish to welcome you with special treatment. How would you like to study at the world's foremost avian school? We will provide anything you need, anything at all. There's a hospital in the school grounds. We will provide a room for you to live there. You shall receive all the care you require. I was living with my brother. I did not want to leave him. But if I continued to live with him, I would only hold him down. He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition. And so I enrolled in St. Pigeonations. Great. I was still weak and so I often stayed in my room. I had no friends, but I was not unhappy. The nurses and the faculty were all very kind to me. And then, early in my first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. This vacation is the perfect opportunity. Would you like to undergo intensive treatment? You will have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you should be as healthy as any other bird in the school. And so began a long summer in the underground facility. First, a routine of daily examinations and numerous medications. Then the experiments began. The experiments to kill humans. A human would be brought to me. They would struggle and gasp, and then, with the last painful sigh, they would stop moving. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. Holy shit. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. Everyone else in the orphanage was killed by humans. And in return, I killed another human with each experiment simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me, they would collapse. 
I couldn't stand it. I had no reason not to hate them, but watching them die in front of me shaved away at my heart little by little. And so I decided to end it all. I had only one wish. I wanted, I wanted to disappear from this world without a trace. Hmm. The Karen virus, the deadly guest that made its home in my body, that is what they called it. No doubt they were searching for a way to destroy humanity with that virus. That was Operation Hatful? Yes. That's why I... That's why I burned it all. Five years ago. There should have been nothing left, but... I am... Not here. But maybe, just maybe, there's still something left. Somewhere. And I can feel him. Close by. My... Mr. Kawara. Are you going to the basement? I don't have a choice find a way out of here alive and to find out why they killed Scarlet, I need to ask the doctor. I see. That encyclopedia. What else is inside? Oh. Piece of paper folded up along with the files. This is... a map of the medical center? When I was there, I went in through the medical center, but it must connect to the main building somewhere near here. Um, that looks like the gym, so those stairs are. I believe it is in the chemistry preparation room. Oh shit, that's where Scarlet got locked in before, I think. I think? It might have been. The researchers often went in there. The doctor is beneath the preparation room. Thank you, Nageki, I have to go. Yes, I think you will be seeing me again, and... Miss Rousset as well. Okay.